Hello, YouTube Let's Play. We're playing a game called Fabric of Reality today. Uh, right now, we're going through a bunch of Horde Survivor games because I have a video in mind that includes just talking about all the Horde Survivor games that I've played. There's a lot of them I want to go back into. I want to try more Army of Ruin. I want to play more Orc Survivor. I, I want to play more Blood Dome. But I got to get through all the games first and then compile them all and s just say how good they are. This one is Welcome to Fabric of Reality. This is the first ever published Steam game in the beginning of what I hope a promising journey as an indie game developer. All right, well, let's see how uh, his first game is. We'll see. I'm, I don't have the biggest hopes for this one, but it has about 30 reviews on Steam. They're mostly positive. I think 95% positive. The default character is the HX Explorer. So we'll play as the HX Explorer. We'll look at the tech tree after we do a run and we'll see what this game has to offer. There's a drop shadow on that uh, little thing right here. So we'll see how this is. Uh, all of these Horde Survivor games that I am playing, I do want to play more of them. Um, we'll see. This guy looks like a cookie. Click on me to push or push tab to advance and hold it down to advance dialogue. Not everything here is easy to understand, so listening to me might help. If you did do skip through and get confused, you can always re-enable hints from the menu. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Howard. Could you help me out with something? I've been trying to figure out if you could destroy 100 waves of them. That'd be really helpful. I'll guide you along the journey. There's lots of things to learn. Firstly, you can use left shift to boost. Left shift to boost. You'll notice uh, there's a bunch of cards moving up. When they reach the top, you fire their pattern. Wait, you'll notice on the left, there's a bunch of cards moving up. When they reach the top, you fire in that pattern. Okay. For now, you only have a basic shot card, but if you collect an FXP... Okay, okay, okay. So it's kind of like a little bit of a deck builder with a little bit of Horde Survivor action. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I have to aim it as well because th this doesn't have auto aim. Does it have auto aim? Uh, don't want screen shake. No. Why? Options. This drop shadow is kind of annoying. Doesn't seem there's auto aim, so I have to do everything. Fabric of Reality. Sorry to interrupt, but you can push Q to level up. So, leveling up gives me new type of shots. I'll... This is a level up screen. You can select one of these cards to add to your deck. Before making a choice, I would recommend you to click on the preview button below each card. Do you have an idea of what they do? You can use it to see if the points of attack it deals the most damage by comparing the bullet. There's too much reading. <laughs> see how well flashes or crits, by the way. Same goes for knockback. Just use. I, I know what knockback is. Uh. I'm gonna get that one. This is the deck building screen. Don't get overwhelmed. There's a lot to take in. The card you just selected will be in the recycle slot on the left. The left of me, drag it onto any other slot to add it to your deck or hover over it and push tab. So I just throw it on. Wait. Cards appear from the top to bottom, the left from the right. Press escape. The tutorial seems a little bit overwhelming, I'm not going to lie. It seems a little unnecessarily text talking. I feel like with these types of games, you don't really want a big tutorial telling you all this stuff. You just kind of want to go. You know what to expect with these types of games, you know? But I guess this one is kind of unique, so. It's like more so just, I just, let me play, you know? Let me just play. Am I getting XP automatically? Oh, I have a level up. Uh, Do I want two? Do I want one? I'll take this one. So we'll just take out that immediately. So it doesn't level up for you automatically. What is this too? Am I like the second person to ever play this game? Level. Oh, that's my level. Oh, so that's how close I am to leveling up. Okay. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer because I do want to try to figure out and uh, learn this game. I do. I want to give every game an honest shot. The biggest negative for me is the tutorial. I kind of can figure out how these games work myself, I feel, but the tutorials, I deem it unnecessary is the word I would say. 
Maybe like a little bit less text. I, I, but I can understand that this type of screen can be a little daunting with these graphics. I know there's another game that I've kind of played. Uh, well, I've only done two videos on my channel for it. Uh, it was Blood Dome 99. Oh, that's a good one. I know, uh, I do like these. Upgrade a card to level 5 to unlock it. How do I upgrade a card? Unlock effect. As you can see, there's different types of cards. This card of color represents its rarity. While it's common, green is uncommon, blue is rare, purple is ultra, and golden is legendary. Higher rarity cards are usually strong, but level up slower and increase your power level much more. Okay. Uh, Blood Dome has graphics that aren't the prettiest thing in the world people said they didn't like really looking at it but this is definitely one of those games i probably wouldn't want to stream on twitch but i don't mind throwing it on the let's play channel let's play channel is for everything and sometimes we'll find little gems maybe people that watch the let's play channel will be like oh wow this look is this game looks pretty good fabric of reality is what it's called um if i, I want to get this uh video out that i'm working on out in a few weeks probably uh, I haven't made any videos in a week or so. I'm waiting for Against the Storm to come out because I want to make a video on that game because I've never really made a video on a city builder. So I'm kind of curious to see how my thoughts on it are for the game that's... Against the Storm is coming out in the 1.0. I think I might get this uploaded on a Friday. So if, if this, this game gets uploaded on a Friday, uh, Against the Storm is already out and I hopefully am loving it. Where is my health bar? Is this my health bar right here? This is my XP level up. This is my health bar. The waves are very small. Most of the people do not have any achievements in this game. But I also think this game probably would be kind of easy to get all the achievements in. It's kind of hard keeping up with my character. I don't like that I have to aim 90% of my bullets. Most of the bullets I'm getting now, I don't really need to worry. Ooh, we got a rare... Ooh, I like that. That one seems quite good. So we'll take this. We'll replace. I'm slowly replacing all of these. These basic bullets. What the hell is that? Can I destroy those? Or do I just have to keep dodging them? We're on wave 9. There's some indicator. The wave... They want you to get to wave 100. Which would be kind of hard. But the tech tree... We'll see what the tech tree looks like. I'm, I don't know what would be a good time to play every single game as well. Some games I feel require more time than others to learn what everything they have. But I feel like these types of games, you could, you, you could play these games for a little bit. Like, uh, you know, an hour and figure out the whole gist of it. But for every single game that I am going to be uploading on this Let's Play channel, there's... This one so far, this Fabric of Reality. Halls of Torment got a, is coming back a little bit. Vampire Survivors is coming back a little. I want to go back and play them all a little bit more. Maybe try to get a good amount of the achievements as well. See what the game has to offer. But the thing is, I don't really have time to stream Horde Survivor games all the time. They are a good little uh, change of pace, I will say. I do not like the way this thing is moving on the screen as well. It kind of hurts my eyes. Developer, if you watch this for some reason. But I'm just one guy, so. Oh, it slapped me in the ass. Whoa, I just did like a hundred damage to it. Oh god, this game turns into a bullet hell game. Wow, you just might have a shot at this. Bosses only become harder from here, especially if you're not playing on the practice mode game mode. I believe in you. Thanks, gamer. I leveled up three times from that. Is this a little bomb? As you see in the top left, it says the bullets only split after a certain amount of collisions. Some attacks work this way. Keep that in mind. So they have to collide into other things? I mean, I'm willing to try... One of your cards is leveled up. This happens when you've dealt a lot of damage with it. You can tell because this card slot is dripping with power. If you click on it, you'll see that it says there's points available for the card. These points can be used to unlock a modifier or an effect. Okay, so... Random status effects. Modifier. Bullets move faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can figure this out. I can figure this part out, but thank you. 
uh, effect, so confuses enemies. Uh, modifier, bullets travel further, okay. So the little synergy stuff, that's kind of cool right here. These are my stats. I wonder if I upgrade these in the tech tree after. Power level is 25 out of 39. I don't know what that means. But I still have a couple things I can upgrade. What is this? A square bullet? It gets a little bigger as we go. I'll take it. Take it over this one. We only have a couple, a couple of those bullets left also. What is this one? That seems good. We'll take it. We have th two of those ones left. Two of the original ones left. So time I tell you about a useful feature on this screen. First, select any card in your deck. Now hover over the info button. You can also compare stats to all cards in your deck by hovering over them. While hovering over a stat, every used card in your deck will pulse a color. The greener, the better that slots that stat is compared to the rest of the deck. Why is this useful? Well, say you want to replace a card in your deck that you can you can use this feature to figure out which card is the least damage. All my cards started lighting up. Oh, so total damage. Doesn't really tell me which one has the least amount of damage, I feel like, because they're all just lighting up, but maybe it's my fault for not reading. Anyways, we're on wave 11 now. If this goes to wave 100, I'm going to be afraid it's going to take a while, but to be fair, I feel like four minutes of this, four of the 11 minutes that we've done, has been me doing the tutorial. Your ultimate has charged up, you can tell by pushing the E button to use it. Oh, that is quite strong. That is quite strong. Oh, we got a legendary. Oh, 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 we're taking that bad boy. See you later, little cube. Modify a bullet travel further. We'll get an effect. Reduce an enemy's movements. All right. Oh, man. Okay, now we got tons of bullets. I can't even remember what this game is called. What is this game called again? <laughs> bad fabrication fabric of reality i think very simple it reminds me of an atari game you know a classic atari or arcade game this is what i get do i have to pick a reward i don't want a reward turn it into stat points So wait, okay, if I level up again, let's just say this. Recycle into regen. Oh. So now if I do tab, or I guess tab doesn't work. I guess I can only be leveled up. So I can recycle those and get those upgraded. That's not skill tree stuff. What the hell's the tech tree then? I only have half my health. Oh, that guy disappeared. I like that I don't have to do anything to level up besides just kill just kill stuff. This reminds me of a, a classic Galaga game, but... I think this game was like 5 US dollars for the price, I don't know. You can get Choo Choo Survivors cheaper than this, and... Uh, you can also get a lot of games cheaper than this one if this one was... I think it was 5 US dollars, I could be mistaken. And we'll see, you know, this also, if it's one of those arcade feels, let's be honest, those arcade games, they're fun for, like, a game. You know, you play one game and you're kind of like, uh, I'm kind of done of it. You know, the base of this isn't bad, but I, you know, I, I honestly don't see myself playing this game more than once. Recycle into boost. Unlock modifier. Bullets travel further. Effect. Confuse enemies. We'll take this over a square. Oh, we wait. We keep unlocking more as we get further into the wave. We'll just discard that into nothing. It's really like, yeah, this first run is fun, but do I want to do another run after this? I think this game has different starting ships as well, but I guess we'll see after this run dies. We're on wave 19 right now. There's a boss spawn every 10 waves, potentially. Do I still have my ultimate? Card leveling. Well, let's replace these still. 
Maybe I should start recycling though more to get those uh those boost upgrades. I like that I already uh, invested some into regen. That's good. Level 16. Viewing the preview screen from the deck building screen lets you see how your stats and upgrades affect the card. Uh... Okay, whatever. There's, there's a lot in here, man, and I'm just kind of, you know. Okay, we got two of those now. Six, seven seconds. Are we going for boss on wave 20? Boss wave. I do not have my, uh, my ultimate, but I do have a lot of upgrades. That legend, that uh, legendary one seems to be doing a lot of damage. This reminds me of Galica for some reason, an open world Galica game. I don't think we're gonna need my ultimate, or maybe Yars Recharged, kind of. But Yars Recharged was Yars Recharged wasn't bad. Got sponsored by Atari for that game a couple years ago. Good times, good times. I'll take the square, and we will replace this square. This gives me max power. This can get upgraded. Unlock a modifier. Bullets move faster. Yes, we will recycle one of our carts. We are already on wave 21. Fabrication of reality! It is kind of satisfying killing everything, but... I still feel my biggest negative will come true of... You won't really feel much of a desire to play more than, like, one run at a time. Because immediately, that's how I feel with this game. Immediately. Like, I don't want a picture going through all of this again. Like, it's a nice little basis, but... It feels kind of hard to... Play more than one run. Better than halftime heroes, though. Hate halftime heroes. Oh, God, what a scam of a game that was. Uh, we can recycle that into max power. Yeah, we can recycle that into max power. But, you know, for a first game, this is better than anything I could do. That's for sure. It's like I said in the Orc Survivor video. It took this genre is a good genre to get your get some good practice in for game development. No, it's good practice. Is the game horrible? Goodness, no. If it was horrible, I wouldn't be playing it still. Is it good? Yeah. Does it lack replayability? Potentially. We'll see. Because, you know, with something like this, there's only one... This looks like there's only, like, one type of level. You know, just... This. The enemies also seem to stay the same the entire time. So it's also kind of like, eh, whatever there, you know. Oh, look at all these we can get. Unlock a modifier. Unlock modifier. Unlock modifier. Bullets knock back enemies. Unlock modifier. Bullets are bigger. Ooh. Cycle into fire rate. Right? No, we'll just keep that. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We're already on wave 28. We are moving a little bit faster, it feels like, but... It took me about 20 minutes to get to wave 30, so if there's 100 waves at that rate, it's going to take me an hour to get to wave 100. We're going to be here for a while. But maybe everything starts dying. Well, there's no boss on this wave, actually. Wave 30 is no boss. Wave 10 and 20 are a boss, but wave 30 is not. Maybe the Maybe, like, wave... It would make sense if it was maybe 10, 25, 50, 75, 100 for bosses. 
Oh, nope, wave five. Oh, here comes the boss. Never mind. There is a boss. Uh, recycle into regen. Sure. What the fuck? Let's see how good my ultimate does. I mean, we're doing damage. I'm barely fast enough to get ahead of that. Oh, you're switching lanes on me, huh? I came prepared. I almost was not prepared. Oh! Also, this thing, these things hurt my eyes. Got about my boost for a second. I haven't been using my boost at all. This kind of reminds me of Void Scrappers, which is a game I won't be covering in this video, I don't think, because I don't really want to play that game again because it wasn't that good. All right, we're done with wave 30 on the 31. What the hell is this thing? I'll take it. It's better than that. Ooh, we have upgrades on everything. Upgrade effect. Unlock an effect. Poisons enemies. Unlock an effect. Weakens enemies. Upgrade the modifier. Unlock an effect. Makes enemies delicate. Increasing the amount of bullets. Knock them back. Maybe there's only 50 waves because this only goes up to 50. I really don't want to do 100 waves of this. It just seems like it's... It just feels like it's going to get repetitive after that. Like, this is already kind of repetitive on wave 32. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest how I feel with it. Like, yeah, it's not bad, but, like, feels a little repetitive 32 waves in. It's just because the upgrades don't really seem too substantial, you know? Look at the bullets and all. I probably have a lot of these as well. Also, we should probably get these out all at the same time, you know? I don't want to keep going into it. Card level. Yeah, look at that. There's another one. Crit damage. We'll just recycle it. There's another one. Oh, wait, there's a legendary. Oh, that's kind of good. Uh, we will take that for this. Cycle and Deluxe. Sure, do I have another one? And look, I have another one. Max power. Yeah, get, we want max power. I have another one. Ghost bullet, ultimate recharge. Yeah, sure. Do I have another one? Okay, I don't have another one. Those are my early thoughts on the game one run-in. I'll check out the tech tree and everything after a run, but... I don't know, man. We'll see. It's not like... The, it's like I said. The game's not bad, but... It's just not something I'd want to play a lot of, it feels like. And I do like to think I like these Horde Survivor games. You know, I, I enjoy them a good amount. I don't take them too seriously. I don't really view them... I don't really view any of them as, like, all-time great roguelites besides maybe Brotato and Vampire Survivors as, like, the best, the, the best of the best that you can get. Because every genre, every subgenre needs to have a best of the best. And for me, I've already said that clear many times that Brotato is the best of the best. I don't care if people know that. But this game, like, it's not bad. It just lacks in some areas. But it's also a first project, like we said earlier. So I'm just repeating myself constantly. Anyways, we're on wave 38, almost wave 40. Let's get some upgrades. Recycle in the region? Hell yeah, brother. Recycle that in the region. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Wave 39. Are these like buffs for the enemies? Like they have a do they have like a speed buff in this wave or something? Take that. Upgrade the effect. You can upgrade the effects and all that, which I think is kind of cool. But there's just a lot on this screen that I feel like would turn away a lot of people. But not me, apparently. Wave 40. Alright, is it fourth boss time? I still don't have my ultimate available, but that's fine. I have $310, $311. I don't know what the money's for. 
Boss wave. All right, what do we got? No ultimate available. Is he doing damage to me? Okay, well that time I just ran right into it. The bosses seem unnecessarily tanky, unless I'm not really upgrading anything. Maybe I'm not supposed to be this far in on a first run. Well, never mind. There, now I'm doing some damage. My legendaries are definitely doing a lot of damage. All right, let's do this again. Card leveling. Range. Take that. Upgrade the effects. Upgrade the modifier. We have a good amount of upgrades and everything. Now we just have to survive some more. All right. My regen is nice. That's good. Regen's looking solid. I'm going to have to make a whole separate section on my YouTube channel of just Horde Survivor games with how many I'm going to be playing. On the Let's Play channel, at least. My ultimate's now ready. We'll try to save that for the boss, even though it doesn't feel like it does anything. Eh, crit damage. We'll get some crit damage up, sure. Ah, there's a bug flying in my face. How does a bug even get in here? What time is it? It's also 1.30. Okay, I got a couple hours. We're almost on to wave 50. If this goes for another 50 waves after this... You only unlock cards up until wave 50. If it goes to another 50, oh man. Resident Evil 4 and three other items from my wish list are on sale. Ooh. I have Resident Evil 4 on the PC, but I'm a big fan of Resident Evil 4 in general. Half my health. I honestly think I'm not going to win this run, to be completely frank with you. Let's get fire rate up. Maybe I should be upgrading all my cards. Alright, I can upgrade all my cards now. They all have some stuff. Unlock modifier, unlock effect, upgrade. 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 Upgrade the modifier. Upgrade. I feel like probably upgrading the effect is probably better than... Uh... Anything else? We're on wave 50 now. Got all my health back. Leveling up also seems to give you uh, your health back. Reach wave 50. Yeah, I did it. I did it. Did I drop an ultimate on it? I did. It's not doing much. I don't know where I got this game from. Someone probably recommended it to me, but... Oh, 
I'm dead. Got ran right into. Wave survived. 50 gold from kills. Gold from buffs. Gold gained. It's got $465. What can I do with the gold? 3.03%. Tech tree. The modifier pierce. The game mode. Dude, what the hell? Well, the tech tree is humongous, but that just seems to unlock different cards. Well, actually, there's some upgrades, but I'll be completely frank with y'all. This is one of those games I don't feel much of a desire to play again. There's a lot of game modes, but... I don't know, man. I wouldn't feel much of a desire to play it some more. Top person got a score of 501. Highest rave we reached. Eh, not many people. I mean, definitely not many people have played it, so. What's the top score? I got to wave 40? I thought I got to wave 50, to be honest with you, but. Fastest wave 100 clear. 19 minutes, so the run can definitely go by faster. I'd say the average run is probably 50 minutes to an hour. I don't know what Penny Senseless was doing and Richard dives in for three and a half hours. I would not want to do that for three and a half hours. But uh, I think this game might be a one and done, sadly. I'm sorry, Fabrication of Reality. I don't feel much incentive to try it again. Uh, maybe I will, but uh, yeah, Fabrication of Reality. You're an interesting Horde survivor. And if you're watching this, uh, if you want to watch me play games live, twitchtv burr you know where it is. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for another YouTube exclusive. They pop out when they can. But yeah, Dead Level Blur, if you're watching this, it's not bad. Just maybe not for me. The runs seem a little bit long as well. 100 waves. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But I do like the tech tree. The, the amount of stuff in the tech tree is fucking insane. And I just accidentally got rid of everything. <laughs>